When your car engine is running, the alternator generates electricity. Its main job is to power all of the vehicle's electrical systems, such as lights, heater, radio, and accessories, while also recharging the battery. A healthy alternator typically produces 13.5 to 14.5 volts, which is enough to keep a 12-volt car battery, considered fully charged at about 12.6 volts when resting, topped up. The alternator's charging rate depends on several factors, engine speed, the condition of the battery, and how much electrical load is being used at the time. It's important to understand that alternators are designed to maintain a battery, not fully recharge a deeply drained one. The time it takes to recharge a battery depends on many influences. A weak but still usable battery will charge faster than one that is deeply discharged, while an old or failing battery may never recharge properly at all. Modern vehicles tend to have higher output alternators that provide faster charging compared to older cars. Driving at road speed spins the alternator faster and produces more current than idling, which is much less effective. Electrical accessories such as headlights, heated seats, and the blower fan take power away from the charging process. Temperature also plays a major role. Cold weather slows the chemical reactions in the battery, making charging less efficient, while hot weather places extra stress on the battery and shortens its overall lifespan. Finally, if the battery was recently jump-started, it will usually be far below full capacity and require extended charging to become reliable again. When it comes to charging, there is a big difference between idling and driving. Idling produces slow and inefficient charging, often barely enough to replace the energy used to start the engine in the first place. Driving, especially at highway speeds, is far more effective because the alternator operates at higher output. A 20 to 30 minute drive at road speed is usually enough to restore sufficient charge for a reliable restart. The general rule is simple. If you want to recharge your battery, drive the car rather than letting it idle. The amount of driving or running time required depends on the situation. A healthy battery used daily doesn't need any special charging. Normal driving keeps it topped up. A weak but not dead battery can recover with 30 to 60 minutes of driving. After a jump start, at least 30 minutes of driving is recommended, with an hour being ideal, to reduce the risk of stalling again. A deeply discharged battery requires several hours of driving, often spread out over multiple trips, but even then, a dedicated battery charger is far more effective. A completely dead or failing battery cannot realistically be revived by idling or driving. Replacement is usually the only option. For hybrid and electric vehicles, the 12-volt battery is automatically charged whenever the car is in the on state, but if it is deeply discharged, a charger may still be required. There are several best practices drivers should follow. After a jump start, drive the car for at least 30 minutes before shutting it off, and avoid short trips immediately afterward. For very low batteries, a dedicated trickle or smart charger is safer and more effective than relying on the alternator. If your battery is more than four to five years old and has gone dead more than once, replacement is usually the smarter choice. In cold climates, keeping the battery fully charged is essential for reliable winter starts, while in hot climates, keeping the battery clean and parking in the shade can help reduce stress. Safety must always come first. Never idle your car in a closed garage because carbon monoxide is a bad gas, risky for your health. Do not leave your car idling overnight to try to recharge a battery. It wastes fuel, risks overheating, and still does not provide a full recharge. If your battery keeps dying despite charging, remember that the alternator or another part of the charging system may be at fault. It is also important to separate myths from facts. One common myth is that idling for 10 minutes is enough to charge the battery, but in reality, it barely replaces the energy used to start the car. Another myth is that driving for an hour will fully recharge a dead battery, which is usually false because alternators are designed to maintain, not fully restore, deeply discharged batteries. Some people believe that repeatedly jump-starting a weak battery is an acceptable substitute for replacement, but this is dangerous, shortens the life of the battery, and can damage the alternator. Finally, many assume that cold weather instantly kills batteries, but what really happens is that cold reduces performance and exposes weaknesses in a battery that seemed fine in warm weather. For quick reference, remember these guidelines. 
for a weak battery, dry for 30 to 60 minutes. After a jump start, dry for at least 30 minutes and ideally an hour. For a very dead battery, use a charger instead of relying on the alternator. If your battery is more than four to five years old and unreliable, replace it and never idle indoors or overnight to charge a battery. Many drivers also ask common questions. For example, can I just leave my car idling overnight to recharge the battery? The answer is no. It wastes fuel, is unsafe, and still won't fully recharge a deeply drained battery. Another question is, if I only drive short trips, how can I keep my battery healthy? The best solution is to use a smart trickle charger or take the car for a longer highway drive once a week. Drivers often wonder if revving the engine charges the battery faster. While it increases alternator output slightly, normal driving provides plenty of charging power. Finally, if you are unsure whether your issue is the battery or alternator, remember this. If your battery keeps dying soon after replacement, it's more likely a charging system problem. Many auto parts stores or repair shops will test both for free.